Uh, Lewis, by the way, mentioned you know a lot of impressive at bats uh, using the uh, the whole field really uh, going to the backside quite a bit, including one of his two home runs. Uh, staying back on breaking balls, not exploding at the first fastball he sees. Uh, something I noted uh, Monday it was a three one count in one of his at bats Monday. He took ninety five ninety six at the very bottom of the zone to make it three two and felt comfortable doing it. That's a big deal. And then he ended up drawing a walk on the very next pitch. Being selective is important. Knowing uh, which pitches and which parts of the zone that you have the best chance to do damage, knowing the situation, knowing what your opportunities are and who you're facing are, are a big deal. And I love the way he handled uh, that at bat. Even if he would have struck out on the 3-2 pitch, taking that 3-1 pitch was a very mature thing to do in that particular situation. Um, being selective is something Lewis is going to have to continue to develop and refine. Um, the one thing I was telling a buddy on uh, on Monday was keep an eye on Kyle Lewis's chase rates. That's ultimately going to be key for him. If he swings at pitches that are in the zone enough, he's going to do lots of damage. So keep an eye on that more than just the raw strikeout numbers for now. Because, again, even at 24 years old, it's a developmental year for Kyle Lewis, too. He's going to hit some bombs. He's going to do some things offensively. And right now the numbers look great. 45% strikeout rate, yeah, it's a concern. But peak at the chase rates, That for me – that means more because if we see him get better or stay in a reasonable range, that's going to tell us a lot. Um, league average for chase rates uh, the last three, four, five years have been around 30 31%. I think if Lewis is within a few points of that, he has a chance. And if he's under that, he's going to make some all-star teams. And right now, Lewis is right in that range. So he's not chasing. He hasn't yet. hasn't chased a ton. So if we see him swing through fastballs, then obviously all of a sudden we have a little bit of a different problem. We have a we have a problem Mitch Hanniger started to have uh, early in uh, 2019 before he got hurt and hit the IL. Started to swing through fastballs underneath fastballs where maybe it was mechanical. But if Lewis, because he's trying not to chase or trying not to get fooled by the breaking ball, starts to swing through or behind some fastballs, then we have a different problem and we'll have a little bit of a different conversation. That has not been the case 